Welcome back guys, in this video I will show you how to make an engine boiler to pre-lube it, especially for an LS engine where you can't stick a drill and a priming tool like a small block Gen 1 Chevy to prime it because the oil pump is in the front where the crankshaft is. So I'll be using a garden sprayer off of Amazon, some 3A toes from Amazon, clear a gauge, and a shader valve for a tire. And this is under $30. That's the cheap gauge, 0 to 100 PSI from Winters, part number PEM202. And that's a half inch NPT. So we're gonna drill a half inch hole over here on the side. Now put some Teflon on the threads and you go, low, you go in the direction of the threads. Like that. And now you could start cranking it on. She's good. Okay, now we're going to use a straighter valve, so we could use compressed air to compress this thing. And this is from Control Devices, LC, part number TV12. Okay, now I'm going to put the straighter valve, it's a 3 8 so I'm going to make a hole in the side over here for that. That's good. And this over here, take out that. Also take out this plastic. Like that. Put this back in here. And put the clear, clear hose on here. Here, put this on here, tighten it down, and I put this here and tighten that down. Um, I'm also going to clean this up because a lot of debris fell in there. Uh, one thing I want to mention is we accidentally used the wrong size drill bit to drill a hole here for the shredder valve. And we just use the bolt to seal that up. So if that happens to you, you can do the same thing. And now that's tight. Use some compressed air in here. And also blow through the tube. And I'm also going to put some oil through it first for the system just to clean anything that may be in there. Alright, so we put some water oil in there just to run it through the system, make sure everything is nice and clean. And we're going to blow some compressed air in here. For 15 psi. And it looks like it's working nicely. Like I said, this is just to clean it, everything out, make sure there's no debris. This is some oil that we had laying around the shop. If you want to stop, you just open this up and let the air out. All right, now we're over here in the bottom of the block. On the driver's side, take that plug off. And that's the part number of this fitting right here. You could put over there and put a hose at the end of it. 650-256. If you Google that, this will pop up. So thread that in there and tighten her down and she's tight and press the hose on all right now take this off and we're going to use some clown milk to oil up this engine or aka 
engine oil and tighten her down. All right, now it's go time. And we're putting in about 20 PSI and look at her go in the engine, baby. And as you can see, we're getting oil coming out of here. So we periodically cranked over the engine. It took about 15, 20 minutes and all the rock bar arms now have oil. And that's how you make a pressurized oil primer by yourself. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and like me and share me. See ya.